this is Kurt. We're on our uh, river, our biannual daddy-daughter trip. This time we decided to go down the Gila, the Gila River, but instead we changed at the last minute and decided to go down to San Francisco and then join with the Gila. So on this trip today, we're gonna do uh, I don't know, somewhere between 14 and 16 miles today and another 14 to 16 tomorrow. We're gonna do a quick two-day trip down to San Francisco into the Gila and on to Safford. Join us as we discover a lot of hidden gems of nature along this water trail. So, here we are, just in the first set. The San Francisco is a lot of class ones, a few class twos. So we'll bounce through this little class one, or nice little class one. The good news is the water's moving fast, so we'll move fast. Just have an enjoyable day in some small rapids, a few, few small twos on this, on this run as we explore and discover. This is my first time on the San Francisco, so I'm pretty excited. So what's cool about these walls is sometimes the water, the main flow pushes right up against it and creates a pillow. And you'll go right up like you're gonna slam into it and the pillow pushes you off. Uh, it didn't quite work that way this time. Um, but it's pretty cool. I'll try it again. The river, it's just a narrow river with a lot of little runs like this in it. A little fun one. We'll just uh, videotape a little bit of this. We'll stay out of the undercut as this thing swirls and stay out of the eddy at the same time. There we go. Kind of cool coming up against these cliffs. But this is where the main stream is. We just stay off the cliff and we're fine. Keep heading down. It's just one little rapid after another. A lot of little class ones. A lot of fun. Just so you can get a feel for how fast we're moving, I'm going to hold this camera steady as we go down the river and you can see how quickly we're moving down the river. So we've stopped for a little break along the river. We've been out about two hours now, an hour and 45 minutes. Stopped under the shade of the cottonwoods on a wide bend in the river. I don't know if you can see it, but the water is moving fast. This is a good day on the river. A lot of class ones. And a few class twos, but it's a fast river, so it's been a real pleasant ride today. Look at that. I guess there is some dirt there, not much. So we're having a great time on the San Francisco. It's my daughter Olivia in front of us. And so far, only two of the four of us have tipped over in the river. One from a strainer and one from a wall. All within the last 15 minutes, so... We've been on the river now for about two and a half hours. So along the river, um, sometimes you get undercuts. Usually you stay away from a lot of these. Because they can be dangerous, but there's no fast water in here, so I think we're going to be okay if I drop the camera and paddle. See, I did drop the, pad the camera and paddle. Okay, so I am going backwards down the San Francisco River because I'm not on the San Francisco anymore. This is the confluence of the San Francisco and the Gila. And now we're running the Gila River. So this is our camp right on the Gila River. We're going to camp right under these cottonwoods this afternoon. We got down about 16 miles in just a few two or three hours, so we're doing really well. We stopped here and gonna go and explore and discover what's near our campsite. A little bit of a trail here. Oh wow, look at all those flowers. Isn't that pretty? So these kind of a pale yellow wildflower, I don't know what kind they are on this sandy bank where we just hiked up over from our camp chock full of They're really really pretty so a few years ago we came up here probably eight or nine years ago and the mountainsides were covered in these poppies and even though it was a, a wetter winter this year there were almost no poppies there were just a couple of pockets up here. this picture that these girls are taking right now is 
because her grandma always takes pictures near dead trees. So we're going to take a picture near the dead tree. And this is dedicated to Grandma Camille. So this big butte is above our camp, kind of a cool rock formation. But what's even more interesting is if you pan across the mountain and over across the other river, oh, there's two girls in the picture. All right, and then you pan in on this. This is another butte. This is Gunsight Butte. So most of the time, I sleep without a tent. Just under the stars works for me. The only thing you have to be careful of is, is if you're in an area where there's lots of dew, you want to sleep under a tree or something. Only half of me slept under a tree last night, so half of my sleeping bag is wet from dew and the other half is dry. So we're on day two of the San Francisco Gila River trip. This is where we camp for the night. We've got the kayaks all loaded and ready to go. What's exciting about the day is this section of the Gila has a lot more class two rapids on it than the section we ran yesterday. Yesterday was mostly ones with a couple of small twos. Today will be largely twos for the first eight to 10 miles and then it'll slow down a little bit before we get out in Safford. Join us as we have a little fun on those rapids today. Now let me give you a trick here. Take your hands, put them outside the kayak, push on the sand, and lift yourself up and slide out. No. Doesn't move, huh? <laughs> ah, okay. So we're coming up on our first rapid of the morning. Do we go right? Do we go left? Do we go right down the middle? Now the middle's looking pretty good right now. Let's see how we do here. So I thought I'd give you a view both from a GoPro and a regular camera, and I'll do that on this rapid with all of the kayakers. Coming down these rapids, there's lots of wave trains, but all of a sudden rocks will pop out on you, like right here. A couple of quick rocks right at the last second. You have to shoot around. Um, you don't see those till you're on them, and in fact, with the other camera, you're not going to be able to see them at all. So now I'll turn around and take a picture of my daughter Olivia coming down with the GoPro. So that's what the rapid looks like with the GoPro. A lot of fun. These are small class twos because there's not a lot of work on them. But with this camera, you can actually see some of the rocks that she has to go around or maneuver through. And then the second one is my niece, Marin. And she's doing the same thing, um, trying to avoid the same rocks that you can't see with the GoPro. Um, but as you look with this next shot from the camera, you can actually see her <laughs> kind of pop over one of the rocks in the beginning of the rapid. The last kayaker is my brother-in-law, Ted. What you'll notice on his is that his kayak is a little bit better than the other two that have just gone down. And he can do a little bit bigger rapids on this. It's more buoyant, easier to maneuver through. So he looks a lot smoother going through these rapids. It's staying a little bit drier at the same time because he's got a full body skirt on. Came around the corner and here's these two rock formations right next to each other, kind of cool. This whole canyon's full of cool rock formations. As we go through these next rapid, I'll just let you sit back and enjoy it as I give you the perspective of both the GoPro and the regular camera. Just a note, when you see my niece tip over, she's okay. She just got caught by the big wave and the eddy all at the same time and it twisted her and flipped her.
neat things about this canyon is all the cliffs and the unusual formations and rock sites, and this is another one of them. It doesn't seem to matter what river I run, there's always a narrow chute down the river, whether it's on rivers I've run in Texas, Utah, or Arizona. They have these little narrow sections off the main river where the water rushes together and, and creates uh, a really fast chute. And this happens to be one on the Gila River. Um, the only obstacles really are the strainers. There's not a lot of rocks here. The water seems to get deeper and faster. And it's just a fun little run with uh, some occasional wave trains, as you can see uh, while I'm going through this. It just makes for a nice run and a lot of fun. So we're almost done with our two-day trip down the Gila River. We only have a mile or two left on the river. Got to run my last wall. I enjoy running the sides of these wall, walls as the water pillows and, and pushes us right next to them. It's got the main currents, just kind of a fun little thing to do. As you can see in the distance, there's kind of an unusual rock formation. That's a good landmark for you to let you know you've only got about a mile, mile and a half left on the trip before you get out. Have a great trip.